What is up you guys? Uh, I, it is Iolas here. I am back. Um, now to those of you guys who kind of watch me uh, consistently, you know the last like 10 weeks I've been teaching a college class on top of my normal work and so I've been really slow with putting out videos. Man, I've been like trying to just do like well, one a week if I could. Um, but dude, that ish is finally done. So I'll basically be back to my normal grind now which will be about, you know, uh, two videos a week or so, maybe three if I can push it out. So thank you guys so much uh, for sticking with me for those of you guys who have. And uh, for those of you guys that are new here, well, guess what? Um, I will be posting a little bit more now. So uh, that's super exciting. And what better way to kick off being back with a video about my top five favorite support heroes. And I really love these heroes largely for their versatility. That's mostly what I'm going to be talking about because these heroes, I pretty much am using uh, one of them, maybe two of them in almost any sort of build that I make. These are by no means the best heroes if you are trying to create a specialized uh, style hero, whether that be, you know, a hero that specializes in a base ability or a hero that specializes in pistols or something like that, right? These are more very flexible heroes that will work in a lot of different builds. And so I really wanted to highlight them because I think because of this versatility, because you can use them in so many different ways, they are like must haves, basically. So uh, if you guys like this video, if you want to see more top five hero videos, um, I'm thinking about making some where I talk about, you know, uh, my top five favorite ninjas or outlanders or my top five heroes for pistol bullets. I like, got maybe like adding some specialization uh, videos like that. Uh, please go ahead and hit that like button because it tells me that you guys enjoy this. You guys want to see more. Also, lastly, huge shout out and thank you to those of you guys who have been using my creator code, code IOLUS in the Fortnite store. But anyways, uh, that's it for all the announcements and stuff. Let's just like hop right into these heroes and talk about what makes them so great. Now, starting with number five, we are going to start with Rescue Trooper Havoc with his Assault Damage perk. Now, uh, Rescue Rescue Trooper Havoc was one of the heroes that you got by linking Fortnite with your Twitch account. However, if you didn't do that, you missed that opportunity, well, you can also get the same perk with Rescue Trooper Ramirez. It's the same sort of assault damage perk. And I absolutely uh, love this perk, largely because with almost any sort of build, any sort of hero that I'm using, I'm typically always going to have an assault rifle ready to go, just kind of as that backup, as that when I need to take a distance fight, something like that. Typically, I am always using an assault rifle, and what better perk to have than something that is going to increase the damage of that assault rifle. Now, the reason I put this hero or this perk at number five is largely just because, well, uh, this isn't fantastic for every single situation. Typically, if I'm trying to specialize in a particular build, I would rather choose some sort of hero that's gonna help specialize that build more so than I would trying to just uh, use something that increases my assault rifle damage, especially if that's not gonna be my primary weapon of choice. But beyond that, uh, this is a fantastic perk, especially if you're using any sort of soldier build where you're going to be using your assault rifle a ton. And so for that reason, I wanted to put that on the list at number five because, well, more damage is always better. And on that same note of increased damage, the hero and the perk that I put for my number four favorite support hero is going to be Assassin Sarah with her perk, Assassination. Now, the reason I love this perk is because, again, uh, we are increasing the damage that we are able to do. And in this case, we're increasing the damage with all melee weapons. And so I love this because I'm often using this with ninja builds when I am going, you know, with a melee based ninja, but also too, you can create a melee based constructor and this perk works with hardware as well. Really, it's all melee weapons. And this is a fantastic perk because it works very similarly to vulnerability where you're granting these stacks of, uh, in this case, it's stacks of assassination that increase the damage that you are able to put out with each successive uh, slash of your sword or swing of your hammer or whatever melee weapon you are using. Again, because this is so versatile, because I'm often using this whenever I'm creating a melee based hero, whether it's a constructor or ninja, I figured it would fit well at number four in my favorite support heroes. Great perk, use it all the time. Now, moving away a little bit from the damage, we're going to start talking about, man, mass utility heroes. And we're gonna start with my uh, spot for number three, which is going to be Fall in Love Ranger Jonesy. Now, this was a hero that you would you were able to get during uh, the Spring Valentine event. Um, if you didn't get it during that period of time, um, that sort of sucks because it is a, he's a unique character in that he gives you more energy. And oh my gosh, 
is it a useful perk to have. Now his Fuel for the Fallen standard perk allows you to increase six energy over three seconds with each elimination. Now, uh, if you are using a melee based hero, the other uh, spring event hero is a little bit better for melee attack, but this is just a more general, more utilitarian uh, version of sort of the same thing, where you're able to re-get energy with every single uh, elimination you are getting. Now, I find this works fantastic when you are using uh, melee based heroes, where you want to be using the heavy attack over and over again. This is fantastic if you are using ability focused heroes, where say you're just trying to do like a kunai storm over and over again, whether you're trying to throw grenades over and over again. In basically all of these situations, Fuel for the Fallen is a fantastic perk to be using because, well, you're not really running out of energy very much. And uh, whenever you are using a ability-based hero, you'll find that it is actually pretty often that you will run out of energy, especially if you're using a melee hero where you're trying to use a heavy attack over and over and over again, but also, you know, with many other uh, hero abilities as well. So, I uh, absolutely love this hero, absolutely love this standard perk, and I find myself using it all the time, and if I'm not using this guy, I'm using the one where you gain energy from every single melee kill. Both of those, super fantastic. This one was just more utilitarian. You could use it in more situations, more builds, which is why I decided I would give it the number three spot on my favorite support heroes. After that, we're talking uh, utilitarian again. Um, one of my other favorite utilitarian heroes is going to be Bomb Squad Kyle. Again, this was an event hero, so if you didn't purchase him, that sucks because, well, this guy is actually phenomenal. He was a hero that I did not really expect to like as much as I do, and oh my gosh, I absolutely love this guy. He is able to increase armor by 22, and and this is actually a significant amount and it really reduces the amount of damage that you are taking when you use him in conjunction with other heroes that may specialize in you know getting up close and personal with the hus where you will be potentially taking a good amount of damage this guy is like a must-have i do really enjoy using him as a main hero with most of these heroes i really only like using them as supports and not as primary heroes this guy i love him as a support i love him as a primary hero he just allows you to survive through so many more bad situations he allows you to get right up close to all the hus dealing a ton of damage and not taking a ton of damage and so for that reason, I absolutely love this hero and I figured he deserved the number two spot on my favorite support heroes because, well, uh, he is fantastic. And with that, we are going to hop into my absolute favorite support hero, which does a similar type of thing as Bomb Squad Kyle, which is basically helps keep you alive. And this is going to be Survivalist Jonesy and his Survivalist perk, which is going to heal you uh, health over every three seconds whenever you get an elimination. And again, this is a phenomenal perk to use. I actually use this guy all the freaking time. It's like almost whatever build I'm using. If I have space to put him in here, I will be putting him in there. This guy just prevents your heroes from dying so well, largely because, uh, again, every single elimination you are getting, you're basically recouping health that you may have lost being in that fight. If I am using any sort of melee based hero, 100% I'm throwing this guy in there. Even if I'm using a hero where I'm using like an assault rifle or a soldier, I'm probably still going to use this guy just because he allows your heroes to survive longer. I have to use adrenaline rush less often. I don't have to place down campfires or any of that sort of stuff because nobody places those things down anyways. This guy is just a must have for keeping your heroes alive as long as possible because uh, as long as you're alive, you're able to do damage to us and if you're not alive, well, um, that sucks. So, I absolutely love this hero. I try to use him as often as possible, and because I am always using him, because I'm always trying to use him, I figured he deserved my spot at number one in terms of my favorite support heroes, because let's face it, this guy's just freaking amazing, and if you don't have him, it's time to pick that boy up. So anyways, you guys, those were my five favorite support hero, five favorite support heroes, five favorite support, five favorite, yep, okay, whatever. Anyways, these were my five favorite support heroes. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys, what would you put as your five favorite support heroes? I'm probably gonna say these are the five best, but really these aren't the five best support heroes. These are just the ones that I like to use most often myself. And I would love to hear from you guys, 
what heroes do you guys like to use the most? Which ones would you guys rank as your five best? Because yours may be different, and I would love to hear from you guys as well. But anyways, that is it for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Looking forward to seeing you guys more often, and I will see you guys in the next one.